what's going on YouTube as you can see this is a post calm take it from my stream go check out my twitch channel link will be in the bio um, but this is a hell game I got for you guys today and this is uh, very early in weekend league I know you guys love seeing these weekend league sweats and this game is a sweat to say the least if you guys do enjoy my content my videos um, and just me in general go ahead and think about you know hitting that sub button liking this video and post turning on those post notifications to see anytime I go live with a video so you could be that first guy watching is right here um, we are gonna make the hit the wrong button uh, we had Waller on that post this is something that I had just gotten used to is having tight apprentice on tight and apprentice is something I had not been using with Kittle um, and I decided you know Waller's out you know I want to have some fun throw some crossers throw some corners throw some posts and we slapped it on and that's something I'm just not used to hitting yet because I just didn't have it on for the longest and all of a sudden I have it on but there you go man there's Waller in action the new Waller I believe he's 89 speed um, if there was tight end strategy cards man with the receivers that'd be pretty insane but yeah man this guy is using a Ravens theme team um, I felt like this game just I don't even know what happened I would just uh, on my phone a lot and then I was interacting with the chat but, you know, you see the face cam is on. Like I said, man, go check out my Twitch channel. I'll be streaming all the weekend leagues and head-to-head, -head, money games, all that good stuff. Um, as right here, we're just going to hit this flat route to Darren Waller. And let's see if I'm on balance. Yes, I am. So, you know, it's, it's looking it's looking easy, man. We got the chew clock on. We're flipping the bunch. We're really not flipping bunch. But, you know, I like saying that. Um, and, you know, things are looking easy. I'm just chilling and interacting with the chat, making easy reads. There's another one. Shout out to the new Galloway. And there will be a new video coming out very soon regarding my new theme team. And, you know, just gameplay with some of these new cards is already on the way, like right here. But, you know, I got a couple new cards, acquisitions to make. But right here, we are going to run Flood. R1 should be open, and it is. And that's just an easy drive, man. I really like thinking back in this game. I don't even know what happened to make this a hell game. But that's just an easy, like, five, six play drive. Shout out to Cody for that follow. But this is where things get interesting on the defensive side of things. Man's ran the ball in the first play, and we are in wide, running a little bit of man-to-man -man coverage. Just seeing how this looks, man. Uh, and look, he has Lamar Jackson. He's using a Ravens theme team. This is a bag, if you ask me. Just way too much time. He gets a nice little playmaker action. But, like, that's as good as if, you know, if I could run that back, I'd run the same adjustments because I love the way that defense looked. See me immediately get in dollar after that. Um, that's just been happening a lot to me, man. I think ever since I took off my Toros, I really, you know, the Toros aren't that good. But ever since I did take them off, I haven't been getting enough sheds. So we're in dollar now. Um, just, you know, just trying to get this guy in and out, man. I feel like this could be a flood in the making. He's right here, he's going to run counter, buck, no yards. Right here, man, in the DB Sting 2, or DB Fire 2, excuse me. DB Sting is in 1-4. And he runs a nice little RPO. This is something I ran a lot last year out of the Jets book. If you do remember, you do remember. Uh, it was that little RPO and that little counter sweep out of the trio offset, I believe this guy's in. And yeah, he is. And this form is really good, man. I really didn't pass too much out of it. Um, but I was more of, you know, me controlling the game type of thing when I did run this uh, set. And right here, you see me with the contains. I was uh, playing a lot of Vince Young's. And honestly, him having a skate artist definitely set me off on a, you know, having like, I guess you could say, just being scared of all fast mobile QBs is right here. He is going to throw a laser. And honestly, that was really good defense. The slant was already pretty much guarded. I should have ran back and used that post. Nonetheless, can't even hate. That's man-to-man -man coverage this year. It's not really as good unless you have kind of, you know, deep safety help. I probably should have had a middle third and called it a day. But, you know, we're, we got dotted, man. Great dot by the opponent. And here we go on to our second drive of the game. I'm going to tell you guys now, if you have a new theme team uh, regarding the outside of the Jets, because, you know, at this time I still have Jets 25. If you're moving on to a new theme team, you're going to have to go get that Reggie Bush. He's going to cost you some coins, but, man, oh, man, that dude is super tough. Right here, Galloway on the verticals, wheel route. And we hit it once more. And remember that route for later in the game because he actually does make an adjustment. Right here, man, running a nice combo. And there it goes. 
this is the first sequence of plays where the game kind of starts to switch hands. Um, not really even a cheat, man. I get an under pressure. I don't think he had under pressure on that guy, but, you know, I did make a late read. And that's me trying a new combo. Um, but you see me immediately get locked in because you can't really mess around. You throw a pick in, um, in weekend league and, and see right there, he's stunning on me. And I took it personally, man. I took that personally. I really do wish I didn't have music blasting because I could just I could honestly let this audio whole play out, but um the audio gets blocked off because copyright claims. If you have um music or whatever it may be, it's something I'm definitely gonna switch up very soon. Might have to play that generic beats, uh, the stream music if you know what I'm talking about. But man, this game has been going by pretty fast. Already is two minutes in the second quarter, and that's four minute quarters for you. It's right here. He's gonna motion his running back out. Should be easy bags, and there it goes. I mean, I might have to bring the cheat counter back for this gameplay. I honestly don't even remember if how many times I got cheated, but there clearly was one. The play before that, too, where I throw an under, under pressure interception, that's another cheat. So, I mean, this gameplay, man, I know he's using Lamar Jackson, and he doesn't have uh, set feet lead even escape or let's be honest man it's a ravens theme team as well you know it's not a bad theme team but it's a ravens theme team and here's another crazy play i should have never clicked off we get clicked on the cam and he throws that on the run and this this is a moment i start to rage uh you see my face cam it's a little blurry i don't know why but man oh man that i was even right now i'm tilted that he even he ran the worst route combo ever Mans thought I was in cover two. We were in cover four, and we um we adjusted, man. We adjusted the contains. You saw the play art. I had two contains. Man, I really do wish they changed contains. And, you know, I'm really good with escape artist QBs, with the mobile QBs, so I don't know if I should be saying that, but I have not really been doing my thing with the escape artisting um, compared to these guys running around nilly-willy with their Lamar Jackson QBs. Um, it's tough, man. It's really tough. I mean, all Madden is a different game, but you know, you can still do that on all Madden. But for the most part, man, it is tough playing a lot of weekend league or mutt head to head and playing these mobile QBs. It's right here. We're going to send the heat. And man, he had all the time in the world to make a read and he still wasn't able to make a read. Um, but third and 14 right here, we could easily get off the field, hold the three if it may be the same case. Um, just don't give up anything easy. And I think I am going to give up something easy because I'm trying to adjust, man. There's a complex of, you know, when you're playing a really good player, you want to set adjustments that, you know, you think are going to bag them. As right here, that's another one. I should have set my zone drops. It was actually pretty good defense, um, but I just didn't set my zone drops. But like I was saying, you set a complex um, that you're going to adjust. And, you know, I have been playing pretty good players all week. Uh, example, Henry and Kane's helping my friends get right for the tournament. But, um... You know, the complex doesn't go in hand with weekend league. Mutt head-to-head -head scrubs as right there Raheem Moster is going to take it in. Like, bro, inside zone just cribbing shit like that? I don't know how I feel. It's right here. We're going to hit him over the top, hit him over the head with a bomb. Cover three beater, four verticals, tight uh, halfback slot, whatever that form is called. You just put double streaks, see right there, and it beats cover three. Free game for y'all. It's right here, man. We go for two just because we can, just because we're hard-headed, and we end up getting it. But, you know, if we match up in what, you know I'm going to be going for two. I don't know if I'd be going for two in, like, real games. Uh, I do have a nice two-point play that, my, uh, that I have really good success with, but, you know, I'm not going to... I'm just, I feel like double post is pretty easy to run as well. So right here, man, um, I should have showed the player. I have a contain on the right, and it does not do a damn thing. New Derek Thomas, by the way, and he throws a bomb. Um, in the future, man, like just look at my face cam. 3, 2, 1, just look at my face cam. I'm getting flamed. I'm getting dotted. I'm getting lasered. But in the future, I'm just going to send three, crash down, and pray for the best. Um... You know, I'm done containing. It doesn't work. I was in 3-5 right there. And if you know 3-5, the D linemen are more spread out. So we had pretty glitchy contain angles. But look at my facial reactions. As you see right here, look at the chat, man. I never understand why Madden pros never run prevent. Chat was on my ass. Dude said laugh my ass off. You're getting put on TikTok. You're getting dotted up by Lamar Jackson and putting on TikTok. This dude is the greatest dude alive.
That's right here, man. This is where he adjusts. Boneheaded Reed. Reggie Nelson, dog. Picks us off. He must have been a, a Raven, I guess. Because he did have a Ravens theme team. Uh, put me on some game chat. Was R Reggie Nelson a R Raven? I know he was a Raider at one point. But uh, I was just boneheaded right there. He had been giving that up two times prior. And I know that was manned up, and I still threw it. Um, I didn't think he had it in him to adjust. I didn't think he had the capabilities to adjust. But, you know, it's not all bad. It is pretty bad right now. He does get ball at half. We should have definitely got some points before half. But we threw that, and now he has a chance to get even more points. That's right here. Was this dude in the chat, guys? Was he in the stream? Um, I'm going to rewind this, man. Ch chat was saying this guy might have been in the stream. We got some crazy controversy right here. I probably butchered that word. Controversy. There we go. Nice. We got some crazy controversy right here, guys. Uh, I'm not going to count how many seconds it is. You could count. But I'm showing my play art up. Look at this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The whole ten, maybe even more seconds to call his play. And the whole time I was showing my play art, it was a crucial play for him to get three. And I don't stream with a delay. Let me know what you think down below, man. I think that's some crazy controversy right there. It's right here, man. Back in the dollar. And that's another thing I wish I did, could have done better is just stick in stone what defense I'm going to run. We run dollar right here. And we get dotted. Is it going to be for seven? No, we do tackle him. But man, oh man, we run cover two. We get dotted. We run cover four. We still get dotted. And this dude, like I said, he was playing the greatest guessing game ever. I know my user wasn't there at all. But um, him not having set feet lead kind of lobs the ball even more, even though he's bullet passing it. It's right here. He's going to run the counter buck. And... Doesn't really get too many yards, but it is not looking good for the boy. Uh, yeah, man. It's looking very, very bleak right now. You know we're going to fight, but we just have not been able to get a stop. Um, I feel like it's all good if I throw a pick. I could always get a stop. But this guy right here is running the most simple offense ever, and I'm having trouble with it. As right here, he's going to run Buck again, and he almost gets a first, which is honestly better for him if he wants to clock. But peep the chat, man, right here. D. Croft in here. Lock in, Pav. Dude said, laugh my ass off. Hell of a block by the edge. Chat was on my ass, to say the least. Um, But here we go. A big third down and one. And nothing. Nada. Nothing at all. He ran stock level sale. And we couldn't stop him. I need some help. He does decide to go for two. And I'm surprised he somehow didn't get it. That's 9 of 11, 295 yards, 3 touchdowns with stock Lamar Jackson. All he had on him was a roaming dead eye. And he's running the most simple barber-esque route combos you could ever think of. Not knocking the homie. But man, oh man, this is, this is looking rough for the boy. So right here, man, running a little bit of rollout corner route plays. Uh, the throw kind of lofted right there, but we do get a freedom bounce. We're good. We're golden. It's still looking bleak. I can't lie to you. It's still looking very bleak. But right here, what I do is, um, if you guys are trailing and you need to come back, this thing was added in the game last year. Not even added, but it's just kind of common sense. There's no auto runoff if you wait till 15 seconds to call a play. Um, that auto runoff is very tough. Obviously, you have to have been out of bounds to run this. So, you know, let's just say it's the third quarter. You're down by a couple points. Um, that's right here. We had Jamar Chase wide open. But um, if you're down by a couple points in the third quarter, you do go out of bounds. Wait till 15 seconds to call a play on the play clock, and you won't get an auto runoff. It just saves you some time. That's right here. He's going to run very, uh, you know, I think he sends two. <clears throat> and there's a term for it, but I'm not going to say it. And we're going to end up making a nice read to Reggie Bush. But we don't get into the end zone, man. I feel like those warp tackles, I won't lie, they are very OP. But, you know, I feel like they are needed because you cannot tackle for shit in this game. Right here, easy reads once more, Devin Hester. And we are, you know, I don't think he could stop us at all. There's been two wild plays where he stopped us. But that's about it, Ran. And one of them was just getting me getting unlucky. And the other was just a boneheaded read, so...
things are looking good, especially if we get this two point conversion. Um, I don't need to go for two right here, but the thing is, uh, I rather know now if I had to fight later on in the game rather than just just prevail the inevitable. And right here, we just we do end up getting it. So all, everything I said doesn't you know even matter. But I hope you guys understand what I mean by that. I'd rather know like okay, I have to get nine points later on than just lose on a two point conversion attempt. I don't know how you guys feel about that. So right here. Runs again. He gets con very conservative right here. Two rushes. And, I mean, this year, man, I feel like you're doing your opponent a favor if you run the ball um, at a gun. There are certain runs that are good, trust me. The gun bunch offset inside zone is pretty good. But um, in other circumstances, it's just not the move to run. It's right here. He runs questionable. You know, I feel like if I had Acro and Dante Jackson, i make a play. Um, we ran cover two. We did 15s and fives, I want to say. I think I may have made, made a mistake. Maybe we did 20s and fives or 25s and fives. But um, nonetheless, you know, it's a great route combo, great read. But I do feel like we could have made a play or that could have been a better, you know, def we could have played better defense than that. As in, you know, my guys could have knocked that out because he doesn't even have set feet lead. That ball kind of did loft in the air. But, you know, here we go, man. Time is ticking down. And right here, man, we had to sell out. We play very, very aggressive defense. We don't get any pressure at all. And that's going to be it pretty much for the boy. Uh, we still have 2 minutes, 30 seconds left to try to get points. But, man, we sent 5 out of dollar. He sends out 5. Uh, I, our third didn't really play sh anything at all. He was all the way across the field, if we're being real. I'll be honest. I could have moved him in more. But he also had the tight end wide open. It was just very bad defense. But look at the chat, man. Blame Daniel Jones. Stop showing play art. Hell raw combo. Three curls. He's sweating. The chat is amazing. Shout out Maze, by the way. Go follow him if you haven't. Right here, we throw this crosser. But we are not able to get our feet in bounds. Guys, I want you to look at this beautiful route combo. Not even a beautiful route combo. Beautiful playmaker. And we playmaker and throw it no matter what. Reggie Bush spin. Reggie Bush juke. And I lost my words right there. It's right here, guys. We are going to try to bounce it out and hit Waller, but he plays good zone drop D. It's right here, guys. Four verts. R1 will be open. That's who we hit, and we are able to fight into the end zone. So we still have minimal life. Right here, man. He plays all-out coverage. Zero people rushing. Thankfully, it's a two-point uh, two conversion. So we don't, you know, have to, you know, the time isn't moving is basically what I mean. Um, we decide to take off with Daniel Jones, and we get in. Daniel Jones is so good. And there really wasn't a reason for me to go for two besides the fact that, you know, if we do stop him right here, big hits, we will be able to get seven and win just like that instead of going to OT. This right here, we are in cover four, and he goes back to his patent and route combo, man. And that might be game. I want to show you guys something, though. Right here, I set my hooks to 10. Um, me actually stopping him on that first down for a minus four yard gain kind of threw it off, man. And I don't even know what, uh, I guess my vert hook did guard Hester instead of the other one. But, um, you know, if I put him on 15, I do believe that he would have guarded the more deeper curl. And that just ends up being a dot hitch curl route combo. I should have played a cover two on the solo, excuse me, cover two on the trip side with a vert hook and just blitz five every game. It seems like. And, you know, that would have probably just bagged him. I mean, there's still a lot, like a slight chance that we do get the ball back. But with this run right here, ends up taking us our t last time out. We really do have to lock in, lock up. And here we go, man. We are running a little bit of cover four once more. We actually adjust decently. But there goes Darren Waller. New Darren Waller, I hope. I really don't. Want that to be a shitty Darren Waller routing us for the bread. But I don't know if you saw a stat line. 13 for 15, 400 on my dome. GG's in the chat, man. We win some, we lose some. We're going to bounce back. I'll catch you guys in our next video, whatever it may be. Till next time, man. Take it easy.